Hey now, and welcome down to KC Toy Reviews. We are here today with Daft Toys EX-01 Clothesline. Uh, pretty sure it was labeled as Clothes for Bale. Um, however, instead of going with the Christian Bale head sculpt, all I had was the Sideshow Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Uh, it does have a little bit of a prominent black line, which I'll show everybody later, just to kind of point it out in case it's driving anybody nuts. But it's the best I have, and I think it looks fantastic. So as always, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so whether you are new or old to the game, I do always want to point out that Daft Toys is top notch. Um, they are heavily invested into the Batman world. I am a gigantic, gigantic Batman and Joker fan. Anytime I see their name slapped to something um, in the Batman world, I jump on it because everything they put out is quality, it's top-notch, and it's kind of a buy-with-confidence situation. So if you're a Batman fan, if you see something with Daft Toys, if you are in question whether it's good or not, I would highly, highly suggest anything that they put out. And of course, this holding true to that same statement. Um, this being the Christian Bale clothes set. A couple things to point out immediately that what you see is what you get, plus the suit jacket um just absolutely beautiful tailoring um it comes with a few wrinkles and of course depending on you know how anal you are you can get take a steamer to it or something of the sort but um just absolutely fantastic tailoring every time by daft toys just the fact that they even do the seams and kind of the inside of the suit like that most people probably aren't even going to see it but they did it they went to that next level and they just made this beautiful inside and texture so and just yeah absolutely beautiful pinstripe uh, suit jacket um, however in my opinion this just didn't fit the head sculpt that I went with um, I think it looked kind of better like this had I went with the Christian Bale head sculpt I think yeah absolutely the jacket would have looked top notch and with that said I do just want to point out um, the seam around the head sculpt on the sideshow Bruce Wayne does have a big black line around it uh, the reason being is is actually supposed to be matched up with the Batman suit and sit on top as a maskless version um, not necessarily supposed to be put on a normal body however um, depending on the shot it fits and looks fantastic uh, I'm going to probably try to do some type of paint application to get rid of it because I truly truly love the way this look came out and with the set and of course similar to the um, jacket there just this beautiful pinstripe suit both top and bottom um, absolutely top notch everything is great proportions the stitching um, I can think of some studios out there like trick-or-treat studios they um, just have really odd proportions out there and this thing I mean the fact that even the little zipper here um, the pockets here just the the stitching around everything is absolutely fantastic I don't know if it's just me being a little bit anal, but, you know, a couple things that I would point out is I thought that the arm length on the shirt was a little bit too long. You know, with him being a literal billionaire, I think that the um, would have been fitted a little bit better. I think it just ended up being too baggy at the bottom on, t on these spots. But, you know, it still looks fantastic, um, but it's just one thing to critique slightly. And, of course, we came with the beautiful shoes. Um, not sure if I've noted yet, but the body um, and underneath everything that you see did not come with it. And I went with the ZC Toys Improved, uh, I think it was 2.0 version or something like that. Um, but check my videos out. I do have a review of that body up, and they do sell it on Giant Toy. That type has the neck piece built into it. Versus a lot of the other 1-6 scale bodies where it has a neck peg that kind of moves around and stuff. This joints from, uh, has no joint at all. It actually just, I'm sorry, let me back up. It just goes straight from the shoulder all the way up to the neck piece. And then it has a joint that the head sits on top of. So um, 
I thought it looked a little bit better. I did try a couple different body types. Um, you know, again, I always call it like the $17, $20 Amazon type, the really cheap plasticky one. Um, it just looked incredibly baggy and it did not look well. I ended up switching back to this and it looked fantastic. That is, again, catered a little bit because of the head sculpt that I went with. If you go with a Christian Bale head sculpt, maybe a different body type would have looked better. The way that I pulled this one off, this ended up looking fantastic and a perfect look with that body type. And as far as some of the negatives, um, you know, one thing to rant about first would be the tie. Daft Toys on a couple of their sets now seems to be infamous for giving us a tie and having to actually hand tie it. So what I mean is this thing came untied and I had to, to tie it with my gigantic six foot two massive fat finger hands. Um, and I had to figure out how to get this thing together over this body versus a clip on or something that maybe was already built into the suit. So um, very shocked about that. I, again, Daft Toys, going into the future, stop making us tie the ties. That is just the weirdest choice to have us do that. The shirt itself was great. Um, putting it on was a little bit stiff, and the reason being, and I'm not sure why, the top button does not come undone. So I really needed to pull it and stretch it around the arms because there was no way to undo the top button. The buttons underneath this shirt and this shirt, um, if you are familiar with Daft Toy sets, is a very stereotypical plasticky type button. Um, another thing that I'd say, dear God, hopefully there's more options, and I'm almost positive. I've had a six scale that had metal buttons um, that were proportioned to size underneath. So Daft Toys, the plastic buttons are just kind of garbagey. I don't think it's going to make me knock the review too much because it ended up looking so fantastic. But let's pair some some junky uh, buttons and then tie in the own tie with a one six scale. And, you know, you have a couple things that are starting to point out. The only reason I knock on the buttons, you have people probably going, well, they work. They work for me. They work for me. Think about a button system, that the button on the, uh, the the little piece that you're plugging into the hole is so tiny that if you go in at the wrong angle, and trust me, I've done it before in the past on the Daft Toys, and push it in too hard, you've destroyed the whole thing immediately because it'll be pushed to the side and then getting it back into the hole will be very, very difficult. Um, you really have to be kind of precise about making sure it's aimed properly into the hole. And again, I'm sure there's people going out there going, no, you don't. It was that easy. I'm telling you that if you're new to the one six and just go and try to jam this thing in yet, you, you got to just be careful because those plastic buttons can be finicky if they get jammed at the wrong angle. Um, there's got to be a better way, whether it be a metal button or a magnet system, there's got to be a better way. You know, and then the way of price, I was a little bit shocked. I know this is the um, quote unquote EX1, you know, I know it's, I think, labeled as some type of definitive extra special line. I don't know, but however, Daft Toys quality, it, it really holds up to all the Jokers, suits, and other stuff that I've had from Daft Toys, so I didn't find it any different quality. And the reason I even harp on that a little bit is price point was a little outrageous. 120 bucks for this thing. Now, if anybody remembers the Joker set with the long purple suit, um, I mean long purple jacket and suit in a bunch of different layers was 90 bucks. So not sure why the price point is jumping up 30 bucks in comparison to the Joker set because I would say there's way more value in the Joker set versus this. You know, on the market right now, we could probably go search thousands of one six scale suits and come up with something very similar to this. So why this is supposed to stick out as the bail set um, and be $30 more, uh, I guess I'm not understanding that. And of course, a good segue to be, well, I'm sure this is something he wore and it's screen accurate, but ultimately 80% of people, if you put this in front of them, they wouldn't know that it's screen accurate. So um, I don't know if that's part of the reason it's jumping up its price because they had to cater this thing specifically to the screen accuracy. Uh, but again, just something to note. All right. So as we round this out with a review, slap a score on this guy. Um, some of the only feedback that I would kind of mention again, 
on top of the Build-A-Bear style experience that we get, I know that some people like that, some people don't. I'm not one that's a huge fan of it. Um, the only suggestion I have, truly, Daft Toys, is include a body such as some of the Joker sets did. Very strange to have us go hunting. And if you're not going to include a body, um, maybe whether it's on the pages or you give it to the vendors out there, give us some body type suggestions. The fact that I had to go through three different body types to figure out which one worked the best with this um, is just something to note because the average person out there is going to buy a body, slap this suit on it, and it's not going to fit properly. And they're going to be incredibly disappointed. So whether it's including a body or suggesting a body, um, it's something to note going forward with, with all of your releases. However, with that said, I'm still ecstatic about what's in front of me. Fantastic suit, fantastic quality, um, as always, fantastic tailoring with Daft Toys uh, Batman lineup. And man, I'm excited for what they do next. I personally do not think there is enough 1-6 scale Bruce Waynes out there. It's so hyper-focused on Batman himself. Maybe there's just a small niche of us that want that. However, man, this thing looks great, and I wish I had a few more without having to do this crazy Build-A-Bear style. I know there's other sets out there, um, and I'm probably going to scoop them up, but man, they did a stellar job. I'm excited for what's next, um, but as always, we're going to slap a score on this guy. Casey Toys, Daft Toys, uh, EX-01 set. You know what comes to mind? 8.3 out of 10. I think it's great. You know, there's not much shortcomings. They, they could have tailored the arms a little bit better, as I've mentioned. Upgrade the buttons. Um, a better tie system. I mean... Jesus, you're going to have some people going, oh, it was it was so easy to do the tie. And you're going to have a bunch of other people going, how the goddamn hell am I supposed to tie this thing myself? And they're going to end up watching YouTube videos like I did. But uh, it still looks stellar. It looks amazing all put together. Um, whether you are in it to win it for the Build-A-Bear style experience as far as customizing and making your own 1-6 scale, this is the suit to go with. Can't stress enough that anything that Daft Toys does is amazing. As I've mentioned a hundred times, I'm very excited for what comes next. Whether it be the villains, the heroes, Daft Toys has knocked it out of the park. That's it for us here today. Casey Toys, Bruce Wayne, Daft Toys, a suit that I can go to a party and dance. Ah! Huh? Huh?